Yo, tapping in real quick. UFC fight night, Burns vs. Brady, and we stayed in the apex for this one. Who will that smaller cage benefit next Saturday? And who will that smaller cage be a disadvantage to? That is to be determined. I do appreciate y'all for tapping in. In this video right here, we are just going to chop it up for a few minutes about this Jacqueline versus Vanessa matchup. Now listen, this is just my personal opinion, but Jacqueline's route to the UFC, easy. Easy. She should have made it to the UFC, and she should have made it to the UFC undefeated up against that level of opposition. Since being in the UFC, she suffered a loss via unanimous decision to Sam Hughes. She secured a victory via first round submission over Corey McKenna. That is Jacqueline's resume. Now let me see if I can get y'all to feel why I believe Vanessa route to the UFC by far was much harder. You understand what I'm saying to you? Prior to coming into the UFC, en route to the UFC, she faced all these other individuals who were also on their streaks and en route to the UFC, and they made it to the UFC prior to her. You understand what I'm saying to you? She fought Sam Hughes, secured that victory via fourth round submission. She lost via unanimous decision to Corey McKenna. She lost via majority decision to Lupe Godinez. And she lost via majority decision to J.J. Aldridge. You understand what I'm saying to you? That was her route to the UFC. In my personal opinion, the level of opposition that she had to face just to get into the UFC by far. You know, a harder route than that of what Jacqueline had to take. Again, this is all just my personal opinion, man. You know what I'm talking about? Since being in the UFC, since she had such a hard road to get into the UFC, she has made every fucking minute count. Five fights, four and one, a victory over Jin Yu Frey, a victory over Maria, a loss to Carolina, a victory over um, Kanaka as a dog, and a victory over Emily as a significant dog. You understand what I'm saying to you? Listen, man, her route to her 11 and 5, in my personal opinion, by far has been harder than that of Jacqueline's route to, uh, what is she, 8 and 1 or whatever she is? I don't have that in front of me right now, but in my personal opinion, it's just been different. And being as though the route to the UFC for Vanessa, for Vanessa was that much more difficult. It forced her to round out her game and sharpen up her tools much quicker. You understand what I'm saying to you? She is evolving every time that we see her. And that is something that I like to see. And that is not something that I can necessarily say about Jacqueline. You understand what I'm saying to you? And while... Vanessa is evolving every time that we see her. She is doing so up against a decent level of opposition and a higher level of opposition of that than what Jacqueline has had to be up against. I know Jacqueline has a significant reach advantage in this matchup, but just about everybody Vanessa's ever been in any cage with has possessed a significant reach advantage over her. You understand what I'm saying to you? I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if y'all see what I see. I don't know if y'all get it like I get it. Or I don't know if I'm just batshit crazy once again. And just seeing what the fuck I want to see. You understand what I'm saying to you? Granted, she lost to J.J. Loopy and Corey en route to the UFC. But she fought J.J. Loopy and Corey. As well as Sam catching the victory over Sam en route to the UFC. While these four individuals, individuals were doing their best work outside of the UFC on their win streaks fighting their way into the UFC and they had it they just happened to make it to the UFC doors before her and the victory over her helped them secure 
their fucking foot in the door just a little bit more. You understand what I'm saying to you? But it also helped Vanessa leaps and bounds to uh, just round off her game. Sharpen up her tools. Dial the fuck in. You understand what I'm saying to you? And not sleep on absolutely anybody. She takes every fight seriously. You understand what I'm saying to you? It shows in the training camps. Mentally, emotionally, physically. She's dialed all the way to fuck in. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I just honestly feel like she is the all-around better mixed martial artist. And the only disadvantage that she has at all in any department is the reach and if there's a height discrepancy as well that would be it the height and the reach she is better absolutely everywhere i'm telling you man i'm telling you you don't have to now don't go out here going crazy and then tapping back into me you know on no bullshit you know what i mean it is what it is though i'm confident man she's one of my most confident picks on the card as she was one of my most confident picks on the last card that she was against emily man you know what i mean one thing has nothing to do with the other but her route to the ufc was a lot harder in my personal opinion than that of emily's route to the ufc and you know the level of opposition they had you know faced certain individuals prior they had similar opponents in common the outcomes went you know different ways and all this that and the third and one thing doesn't have anything to do with the other but i told motherfuckers man what she was going to do raya know what she's going to do raya know she going to bark raya know them dogs is going to bark all at the top of those prelims you know what i'm talking about chris o vince and vanessa man you know what i mean but it is what it is, man. I've talked about this joint enough, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to see if y'all see what I see or if I'm just seeing what I want to see and I'm batshit crazy. You feel me? Jacqueline faced absolutely nobody of significance prior to coming to the UFC. Her route to the UFC was easy, in my personal opinion. Easy, relatively easy. Call it what you want. It was fucking easy. In my personal opinion, she should have won every one of those fights and she should have remained undefeated. Then she came into the UFC and as I said, a win over Sam Hughes, I mean a loss from Sam Hughes and a win over Corey McKenna. Well, just coming into the UFC on her route to get to the UFC, you know, Vanessa had to fight Loopy, JJ, Corey, and Sam. You know what I mean? Like the level of opposition that she had to face to get into the position that she's in now, is exactly why she doesn't take it for granted and she gives every fucking thing she got every time she comes and shows up. She shows up to show out and show off. You know what I mean? And jump in somebody's arms post-fight every fucking time. And you gotta love it, man. You can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? And as I said before, I'll say it again. This is not a dog or pair situation. This is a fight where I am highly confident that the dog secures the victory. You know what I mean? But that's that with that, man. As y'all can see, I'm fucking bored. You know what I mean? My oldest, my youngest daughter, she's in her senior year now, so she's in some back to school, you know. She's in some back to school thing. You know, she got a little sister, freshman little sister type situation going on. And she got to, you know what I mean, show the ropes to and all that. So all that's going on. These motherfuckers obviously going crazy talking about some get off that motherfucking camera and take us the fuck around this neighborhood. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm fitting to do. But I don't know if you see what I see or if I'm just seeing what I want to see and I'm batshit crazy. Appreciate y'all for tapping in.